Okay, folks, here we are. It's uh, May 31st, 2019. We're at the Yale Farm, uh, Yale University Farm in New Haven, Connecticut. And we're going to raise some monarch butterflies here this summer. And this is our little pop up. This is how we look. We harvest these common milkweed stems. They're up now. It's May 31st. These in the northeast and the midwest they're growing about this tall right now they'll get six or seven foot tall and below this video i'll show you a video of what it looks like when it gets six or seven foot tall we use this little six dollar and fifty cent pop-up that you can buy at any walmart they call it a hamper so if you go in there into the walmart you say you want this little pop-up hamper and it looks like this when it's up and of course they have a picture of it then you got a little dollar, like little waste basket here. And we put the milkweed in it. Now, you wanna make sure, the when you put the milkweed in, you wanna make sure you trim the bottom of the stem underwater so it doesn't heal, so that this milkweed will stay fresh for a long time. Uh, and what we'll do here is we'll add a female in here and she'll lay eggs on this and then if she you know she she'll lay eggs for a day or two and then we can move her into a, another pop-up or just let her go and then what will happen here is you, when you cut the milkweed of course you go out and you cut it in a and put it in a little container like this a little bucket of some kind so that you can you can uh, put it in there as soon as you cut it it's growing wild everywhere now like I said, I'll put a show you a video of what they look like when they're out in the wild amongst another a lot of other native plants. This is a little butterfly net you can catch that monarch with. They have these at a uh, Dollar Tree, or you can order them online if you uh, go to the Dollar Tree. But you have to buy a dozen of them at a time. So if you have other friends, they're like 24 for a dozen or a dollar, and. Uh, if you got some other friends that want to raise monarchs or help you try to catch monarchs, this is what you use. But you just put her in there, and then what happens is, is you, of course, zip it all up, and it's tight. And it's indoors. It's in a window inside in your house. And then uh, once the eggs start hatching, then you just keep adding stems, and nature will take care of the rest. They'll, now, you want to put maybe a whole a layer of paper towels here on the bottom. Put two or three layers of paper towels to catch the frass because the caterpillars start and they poop down here but there's they stay pretty much away from the poop up here naturally like they do in nature because see these stems are up and then after the monarchs have eaten enough they will go up here and top you'll see as you see in some of my other videos they'll hang up here on top they be you know anywhere between 50 and 80 of them up on top and then you of course take this out you take the this out you take the water up the paper towels and about 10 days after they all become chrysalis on the top, you'll uh, have a pop-up full of uh, monarch butterflies. And you'll, you'll want to take that pop-up full of monarch butterflies to a uh, garden center or a public garden to release those butterflies because they'll be hungry and they'll need a lot of nectar plants around for them to eat. So there's more videos uh, in this playlist that I put together for you, and it covers some other things. So you want to watch most of the videos in the playlist so you can, because I leave out things when I'm doing one of these. I'm not the best movie producer. But uh, this is a 15 by 15 by 25 inch. And here's the tag. We're getting vegetables ready for the farmer's market. Uh, at the square tomorrow we'll be so we do all you know organic growing here at the farm uh this is craig the butterfly man i see you. uh so we got stuff coming up out here and then we have we have uh stuff in these little uh cold frames so we could start it earlier in the year and then we of course have nectar plants along the wall and there you can see a lot of common milkweed coming up right now coming up right along the, uh, 
this is boss here. So that's all for this video. I'll be adding videos and beneath this YouTube video I have some links and uh, there will also be other videos in this playlist. That's Craig the Butterfly Man. Over and out.